ever made a mistake in life and then regret it forever? Well, if you're this guy, you're probably regretting it right now. Because trust me, this is one way you are not supposed to attack in a clash of clans. Channel outside, pretty common. Pop an archer or two, pretty common. Now you can get that extra loot bonus and some trophies and move up and find some better bases. But then you do shit like this and everything gets messed up. Well, that was a waste of a wall breaker. Wonder if there's a Tesla there, could it? Uh, yep, there's a Tesla there. <clears throat> Maybe if I go on the other side. I guess not. And then this genius decided to go always. Now, who the hell sends all your wizards and then a bloody heal over there? Uh, sorry for the language, but you know, this is like the worst way to ever attack. He has a bunch of barbarians and archers. Or at least spread out some barbarians and archers to use as a meat shield for the wizards. And then finally, guess what? He managed to get a hit with the wall breakers. And then some of wizards and all of them, as you can see, died there. And here, he literally has no wizards left, hasn't got any loot yet. And then just starts sprinkling one or two archers at nothing. I, I don't see his point here. And then he moves further down. I mean, you've just cleared out the entire section. You can try going for that goal now. You have 40 troops, seems okay, and then he decides to go here. I mean, I just don't get it. He managed to send his king to do absolutely nothing for him. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry, I have a cold. And his king just dies pretty much, and his archers get amazingly one goal mine. So if his aim was basically just to get a builder's hut to get the achievement of destroying a multiple builder's hut, well man, you're on the right track. Continue what you're doing and you're golden. So he just wasted a whole bunch of troops and namely level 5 wizards to destroy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 buildings. I think these were destroyed by a few archers and stuff, I'm just gonna say 8 buildings destroyed by at least 15 wizards if I'm not wrong. Let's just check it out. Holy! 30 wizards and 8 buildings. Now if I were you, I'd watch some of these videos to learn how to attack. Well, so hey guys, I'll be back in for another video. And sorry I didn't make a video for a long time, that's because if none of you have seen by it right now, Dishi kind of got demoted from leader status to co-leader status. Except not co-leader of Mad Max, no. Co-leader of Anzac Pride. So, uh, I kind of, we kind of destroyed Mad Max. We all left that place because uh, another friend of mine was in this clan and told us all to hop over. And I said, sure, why not? So, as you can see, I'm in Anzac Pride. So, this is the clan. Uh, pretty much all level 100, all channel 10. And then there's a few Mad Max players who are level 30 and, well, you know. 20s and all that stuff. 30s and 30s. Yeah, so yeah. We kind of got... They got a big promotion. So yeah, I'm, my name's right here. So yeah. Uh, we did war quite a bit. Uh, we just lost our last war because it was like a really unfair war. Let me just show you this. So they had... Or we had... Let's see. I think it was... Yeah. 10 channel 10s. Well, they had... Let's keep going... Ten channel towns that just sounded really bad. <laughs> okay, but I'm pretty sure they had more. Okay, yeah, uh, channel eight, channel eight, channel eight. Uh, get three channel nines, and they had well, I think number sixteen was a channel nine, and then we had the last few channel fives and fours. They had channel eight, 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 seven. So it was really bad for the lower guys. Uh, as for the higher people, I mean, uh, let's see, I was number. Five, and you guys already know my base well as then number five had a bunch of well level 13 cannons and yeah and level eight air defense I, I don't have any of that so yeah it, it was kind of really unfair and yeah so it was a bad war we just aimed for 36 stars in the end just to get the clan xp and there's no current war till Friday. Although I would have loved to show you the wars we did win, namely this, this, and this. Yeah, it was these three, and they were like really good wars and 
one of these wars, I think it was one fall, had one of the best epic fails ever. Unfortunately, I couldn't really show it to you guys because, well, they're not giving the details. And I couldn't record because I was in a new clan, I was still getting used to stuff. I didn't really want to make a video till I was sure I'm staying there for good. So, yeah, uh, this was just a very small video on how not to attack, which is pretty much uh, this very epic fail of an attack. And to leave you off on a good attack note for this guy, if he ever sees it, MRT. If you ever does see this video, make this attack. Uh, well, not 100%, but you know, this is how you would get a good attack in, would get some loot. And this is a, you know, champion, mate. So, do watch it. So, as you can see, I'm just gonna pause the video there. He kind of he sent a golem and a whole bunch of wizards there to take out the outside structures to get the 50%. And he did the same over here where he sent another golem, a bunch of wizards just to get that 50%. It's easy to get to the town hall and jump through here. But then once your troops are concentrated at the center point, it's really hard for them to do much because... Uh, oh, sorry, it's a replay. I can't click on stuff. I forgot. Pretty much everything's going to be aiming at your troops, namely this archer tower, expo, archer... Inferno, Clan Castle Fools, everything's just going to come out and pretty much hammer you at the center. You help, you will have some time to maybe pick out the three hatch and get that one star, but you're going to need the second star and that's where all of this comes in. Now since you're attacking from this side, it's better just take out the this side structure first so that your troops don't uh, get distracted when you send them here and go around, but they go to this side. If you sprinkle everything there and still have stuff here, your Pekkas are going to go shopping, and that's not what you want. So now that he's taken out some of those outside structures, he's going to send that golem to the main side and draw a few wall breakers. When his motors are busy taking something else out, his wall breakers have free path. Then another bunch of wizards to take out the outside building so that his Pekka there goes straight for the center along with the king and queen. Giant bomb there, but it's a Pekka and a golem, nothing much. A jump spell there to get into the town hall and a wage to just clear everything out. As you can see, a freeze dropping right there. That's gonna stop his king, his expo, and his inferno, which is gonna be a big boost. A multi inferno is not gonna take out his giants anymore. He'll have enough time to destroy everything. Another wage right at the center where the town hall is. His Pekkas are right there, so they should have. No trouble killing his town hall, but unfortunately he does have clan castle troops, so his peckers get distracted and instead kill clan castle troops. And there's a single target inferno which is gonna probably fire up his pekka soon. Yeah, that's dead. And he's firing up his golem and his wizard. But not to fear, his queen is dead. She's level 40 and she can take out that town hall easily, especially with a few wages there. Now that it's gone, he's already at 50%, having taken out some of the inner structures, like I said, and having to take, having taken out these outer structures due to the wizards and golems yet spread outside. So not only has he got the channel, he has got the outside structures as well, getting him a 50%. He uses queen ability, not too much use, because he's already got what he's needed. Queen takes out that last building and that expo, before finally getting locked on by the inferno chava and getting fired. He does have 8 troops left, I mean 8 archers that can actually do something over those wall breakers. But he only has 2 stars, no need to waste them, and that's pretty much how this attack ends. So that's just how to attack for you guys who don't know how to, and that's how not to attack for you guys who should probably not know how to, please don't. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, you know, please like and subscribe, it's all this year, and peace.